In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a confused person slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works when I click. You can see here I've added one icon here and when I click it will show you uh, six different ways the, the roads are going in different directions and this person is completely confused where to go and then I've added here the different text. You can see here I've put the road number one and some detailed text like the road two, three, four, five and six and then I put a question mark here. Uh, to look he is confused and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this qr code you can support my channel through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to insert shapes from the stars and banners i'm going to choose the seven point star draw a star by holding the shift key maybe this much size and you can see the small orange point just drag this inside maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and then i'm going to uh, add some arrowheads here for that go to insert shapes uh, from the basic shapes i'm going to choose this triangle draw a small triangle here on top of each this one you can see here something like this shape outline make it no outline press ctrl d to duplicate and then i'm just going to rotate it with the help of this option and again just make sure that it is properly aligned press ctrl d again rotate it and put it here this is a time consuming process but we need to do this so just let me just do this again press ctrl d to duplicate and let me just rotate it again and this also and the last option all right so let me just rotate this as well yeah i think this is okay so for this i'm going to duplicate this slide for in case something goes wrong we have a backup slide so duplicate the slide so now press ctrl a to select all the options go to the shape format merge shapes and make it a union then i'm going to give a 3d look for this one for that right mouse click go to the format shape and under the effects go to the 3d rotation here and from the presets i'm going to choose which is perspective relax and click it it, it uh, becomes like this now we need to just rotate it we can see here with the help of this one i can just rotate it all right so you can we have got different options you can see here and we have a perspective which is very important so i'm just going to increase the perspective and then we have to just rotate it so it becomes it looks most kind of a straight for us and you can see here i can just make it and i can make it more this one so i think this is okay for us and i'm just going to keep it like this here so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to insert shapes i'm going to select one rectangle draw one rectangle all right something like this shape outline make it no outline and shape field you can give any dark color here i'm going to use steel color and then send this to back and this color i'm going to choose for this option i'm going to choose white color and here also for the top part again i'm going to choose one more rectangle all right and shape outline make it no outline i'm going to give some light or this aqua color and then send this to back all right so you can see here we end up getting a shape something like this now again if you want to duplicate this one you can press duplicate and you can give some shadow effect for that i'm going to make it black increase the transparency and then send this to back and align it properly so wherever you want so you can see here something like this now if you want you can go to the insert icons if you already have some icons uh, from the website from the internet you can just download it or if it is available from your local pc also you can just download it so i'm just going to uh, use some icons which are already available uh, in the powerpoint so it's taking some time so let's wait so 
once we get the icons we have to just choose the right icons yeah i got the icons and i've got different wide variety of icons you can see here so we need to choose some uh, proper icon for this one so let me just see whether i can get some good icon here i think yeah let me just take this icon and click on insert and i'm going to increase the size and i'm going to put it here again whichever color you need you can just insert it and you can insert one a question mark as well so again that question mark also it's available here in this particular uh, icons or we can just uh, draw or put our own question mark also if it is taking time again for this you need to have a uh, the active internet connection otherwise it will not work so let me just check whether i have the question mark it should be there somewhere down i believe where it is question mark it's here click insert and for this i'm going to give a red color so that he's a confused person you don't know where to go all right and then you can just insert the options here so i'm just going to say this is road one and make it bold futura font i'm going to use a bold a white font a right align go to insert text box and you can add detail text here again this is also white font right align reduce the size and i'm going to put it here so this is my road one okay press ctrl d to duplicate this is my road two ctrl d again this will come here i'm going to left align and here also align left and press ctrl d to duplicate and this is the so here if you want you can just add some detailed text also or i'm just going to add like this only again let me just make it right aligned yeah so you can see here we have done this one then you can go to insert and you can add some title here i'll say that confused person center line increase the size make it bold all right and then if you want you can add some basic animation effect to it